And the threat of COVID-19 won't necessarily stop people from setting off fireworks this New Year's Eve, but our Caroline Vandergriff reports now that there is a warning this evening from first responders about those do-it-yourself celebrations. Here's what they recommend instead. Most people are ready to say goodbye to 2020 with a bang. What we've seen over the past few years, but even before COVID, was just an increasing number of people choosing to uh, uh, have fireworks shows in front of their house or in their backyards. But those personal fireworks are illegal in the city limits of Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, and others. Mesquite has an aggressive plan to target hot spots for fireworks and celebratory gunfire on New Year's Eve. We've got about three years of data uh, to show where our typical calls, calls come from. And uh, so we're going to uh, position officers uh, specifically on those streets and in those areas. In Dallas, the police and fire departments are also sending out teams to quickly respond to complaints. We'll have uh, inspectors that will be riding out with our officers and our seven respective patrol divisions. And they'll be taking enforcement action uh, regarding fireworks as well as random gunfire. Setting off fireworks or discharging a firearm where it's illegal could set you back a few thousand dollars in fines or even come with jail time. That's why first responders urge people to leave the fireworks to the professionals. And we are one of the few firework shows um, that are, are left in the world. There are some happening, but there are so many that uh, have been canceled because they require you know, the gathering of, of a lot of people. Reunion Tower's annual New Year's Eve fireworks show can be streamed online from the comfort of your home or safely seen from multiple locations in Dallas. Wherever they can see the tower, they'll be able to watch it. And all the elements of the show are weatherproofed for rain or snow. There's not much that can really, uh, you know, cause us to delay other than extreme wind. Giving people a chance to ring in the new year with a timeless tradition. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.